Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Edwin, the comic jabroni, coming at you with a pickups video. Uh, this last weekend, on Saturday, I went by a flea market that's really close to my house. Uh, always go to this flea market. A uh, buddy of mine, he actually has a, a comic shop there. He's always there Saturday and Sundays. So this one's called Bussy's Flea Market. I always go. Uh, they always have things for me to get there. And I did pick up quite a few books there. And also during the week, I ran by one of my uh, local uh, half price books and was able to pick up quite a few good books there. A lot of, a lot of key issues. A lot of G.I. Joe. I'm not a G.I. Joe fan, but when I saw them there and at the price that they had them, I definitely had to pick them up. So let's start off with the uh, Bussy's Flea Market haul. And we'll start with, um, with what we got uh, for Marvel. Uh, first book, you guys are going to recognize that. That's that Captain America 360. Uh, it's not in the greatest shape. Uh, I mean, it looks nice, but then when you look up here in this right corner, it has, you know, it's torn there. But uh, my buddy Robert charged me a dollar for this book, so uh, I couldn't beat it. This is the first appearance of Crossbones. I never had this book and figured, you know what, for a dollar, uh, I'll take it. You know, I would say it's even it's worth more than a dollar. Moving on, I picked up Mighty Thor 362. That is the death of Executioner. Let me see if I can move this light out of the way a little bit easier. There you go. So uh, this is Mighty Thor 362. This is the death of Executioner. And uh, if you've seen that last uh, Thor Ragnarok, uh, you recognize he he was in that he was in that movie, kind of in the same pose actually too with the with the M16s. And it's a newsstand copy as well. You know, I dig those newsstands. Another Mighty Thor. Mighty Thor 380. Uh, small key. This is the death of the Midgard Serpent. There's a lot of books this week, guys. So I'm going to run through them pretty quick here. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man 138. It has it as the first full appearance of Tombstone. I looked online, it said cameo appearance, but when I read it, he's in there a lot. He's in there for at least two pages, and he speaks. Now, he doesn't say his name, but he's in there, so I would call it the first full appearance of Tombstone. And again, it's that new stand copy. Dig that. Another spectacular Spider-Man. This is number 90. Uh, this is a key uh, because this is the first appearance of the black... Um, black suit spider-man now uh this came out at the same time that the marvel team up came out and amazing spider-man 252 now 252 is definitely the, the the hotter book the one that everybody's looking for because it has the the iconic cover on there it's the homage to amazing fantasy 15 but the other two books they're hot too i definitely know that marvel team up a lot of people are looking for it right now and if i were you anytime you see this book i would go out and pick it up this is also the first appearance of the black suit. A newer book. This is uh, Venom number three. This is the second print. Uh, dug this. I wasn't, I wasn't here when this book came out. Uh, I was still in California, so uh, definitely glad I got this. I have the first print of it, and now I got the second print. I dig that, I dig that cover. Moving on to DC, I picked up this Brave and the Bold, Batman and the Flash, number 81, Silver Age. That Silver Age goodness right there. Oh, it is. It's pretty toasty, but you know what? Silver Age, Batman, I can't, can't pass it up at all. Can't pass it up. Another Batman book, Batman Earth 1, special preview edition. Uh, this I guess this was a free book that came out. Uh, haven't had a chance to read it. Just know that uh, anything Batman, I'm picking it up. Got Batman 639. Pick the Batman 648. These next two I really like. I guess this was during a time, or maybe not. These are quite a ways away, about a year apart, but this is... Uh, Batman 653. I like that black cover with the uh, with a two-face. And this one, 833, was Zatanna on it. I know Z uh, Zatanna, she's uh, she's like one of those 
characters that there's, you know, there's a crowd out there that are always looking for her books. And I know there are some covers of hers that go for a crazy amount of money. So when I saw this, I uh, definitely had to take it. I didn't have it in my collection. So this is Detective Comics 833. Uh, moving on to some of the more expensive books, I guess, that I picked up. This is that Justice League 40. And I know if you've watched my videos, you know I've I've told you I've been looking for this book. This is that first appearance of Grail, which is Darkseid's daughter. Um, the price up there is definitely not what I got it for. I guess this guy, he was really, he was really trying to, um, he was really trying to get rid of some of the books that he had. So, you know, he sold them to me at a, at a really good price. Uh, one of the other ones that he, he sold me at, this Gotham City Sirens number two. Uh, number one, I still haven't been able to get. That's kind of a pricey book right now, but hey, number two has Catwoman, Poison Ivy, and um, and Harley Quinn on the cover. So you can't beat that, having those three. Uh, another newer book, that Justice League number five with the Legion of Doom on the cover. Dig that, dig that. Here's a uh, New 52 Futures End number 20. The crazy looking Joker on there. Love that. Uh, these next two, this is Hal Jordan. 48 that's that b cover and this is a connecting cover i got the next one too here's how jordan 49 and so if i pull these apart there you go nice little connecting cover there dig that couldn't pass that up not a book that i picked up while i was uh you know looking on my local comic shop on wednesdays Here's an independent book for you, and this is actually my second copy of this. This is Ninja Turtles number one. That's a, it's a fourth print, and I'm totally fine with that, because the first and second print are definitely out of my price range, and the third print is getting up there as well, so I'll take a fourth print of it. While I was out there on uh, Saturday, one of my really good friends, and he's uh, he watches my YouTube channel, so I, I'd like to say what's up to Sam. He had picked up a couple books maybe a couple weeks prior to that in a little haul and he had some books for me he said hey man I, I picked up this lot and there's a couple books in there that I you know I want to I want to give to you to uh you know put in your personal collection I said oh thanks man holy smokes so this this guy he hooked it up he got me two books uh, the first one is this action comics 662 and this is actually the issue where Clark Kent reveals to Lois Lane that he is Superman Nice to have that in the collection. And then the uh, the big one that he hooked it up with is this Batman 635. Love that. That is the first appearance of the Red Hood, where Jason Todd is Red Hood. Love that. And it's a, uh, it's a newsstand, which if you go online, this is a rare book to find. A newsstand version of this book. Uh, everything you look online, all you're ever going to see are the um the regular the regular editions not the newsstands you're gonna see direct copies not the newsstands so that's what i got from the the flea market let's uh let's move on to what i picked up from half price books we start with marvel first thing i got this amazing spider-man 512 this is uh on the lower lower end of the the key books this is the first appearance of the gray goblin also in this book you find out that uh, Norman Osborn and Gwen Stacy, um, they hooked up and had two kids. So you end up finding out about that in this book. I got a nice little run of G.I. Joe. And I wouldn't say it's not really a run because I didn't get, you know, consecutive numbers. But I, I went through and I, and I picked out all the all the key issues that they had there. And these were some of the better copies. This is uh, G.I. Joe 17. That's that first appearance of Ace. There's G.I. Joe 22, first appearance of Duke in Roadblock. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, I believe it's Roadblock that was played by The Rock in that G.I. Joe movie. And Duke is also one of the bigger bigger characters in those G.I. Joe movies. Uh, here's 32. It's first uh, Blowtorch, First Lady J, and First Ripcord. This is a big one. This is 40. G.I. Joe number 40. That's uh, First Shipwreck and First Barbecue. <laughs> Some of these names are, are pretty insane, huh? But I, I remember I remember Shipwreck growing up. 
So I remember that one. That's that's one that that I can I can really remember like having a toy of. Uh, this one's a big one for me. Uh, this is GI Joe 48. That's that uh, being a wrestling fan, especially a wrestling fan in the in the late 80s, early 90s. Sergeant Slaughter. He was a huge character, and this is his first appearance in comics. First appearance of Sergeant Slaughter, and it's funny how he looks exactly the same in the comics, like as he did in wrestling. So they they definitely mirror his look. Uh, here's number 50, GI Joe 50. The giant, it's a giant size issue. This is a cameo appearance of Zarana, not a name I'm, I'm familiar with. There's 51. There's a bunch of names on this one. This is first appearance of Xandar, Thunder, Tollbooth, Thrasher, and Cross Country. You can tell I'm not the biggest G.I. Joe fan because those names do not ring a bell to me. And the last G.I. Joe book, I got 59. This is first Jinx, Tunnel Rat, Outback, Blind Master, and Raptor. So to me, it seems like the later, the later issues, they just started throwing all sorts of names and new first appearances of people into the issues. Uh, they were definitely trying to sell some toys back then because the, how, how it goes for, uh, I know it's for G.I. Joe and for Transformers, especially the cartoon and the comic books, uh, it was all a, it was, it was all just a way to sell toys. So the toy industry is where they wanted to make most of their money. So the comics and the, the cartoons is where they would feature the you know the characters and then the kids would tell their parents oh i want that toy and then they would go buy the toy so those are the gi joe runs that i got moving on to dc um, i saw this and i dug because it got a uh, batman and joker on it this is that challenge uh this is number eight this was like a 12 part uh, 12 part mini series next i picked up forever evil number one this is one of the, I think, seven. Yeah, it was a, it was a seven-part series. I do not have all seven. Uh, as you're going to see, I've got a couple of them, but that's that's it. i got to look for the rest. I, I, dug, I dig this story. This has to do with the villains from another universe, another Earth. I think it's Earth 2 or Earth 3. They come to, um, you know, the Earth proper or main or whatever they call it in D.C., the main Earth, and they take over. So i got number one and i got number five. And I got number six. I like that. I like that cover. That's uh, that's Nightwing, I believe. Yeah, Nightwing on the cover. He gets his butt kicked in these issues. So, no, I got Justice League 38. That's a cool Batman cover on there. Uh, Justice League 43, which is a uh, part three that Dark Side War. They didn't have they didn't have any more of these Dark Side Wars. I, I would have picked them up because I've read I've read that story. A buddy of mine let me borrow. He let me you know check out the issues and I've read them. Uh, Dark Side Wars is pretty good. It's a pretty good read. Uh, I like this. This has you know Batman sitting on that that chair. I don't remember the name of this chair, but he he ends up by sitting on this chair. He gains all the knowledge in all of the universe. And this is the chair that he asks what um, what is the true name of Joker, and it comes back and tells him that. Um, there, there were three Jokers. Uh, part of that Dark Side War, they did these one shots. So this is Dark Side War uh, Flash. Uh, for each each one of the heroes that gets this God power, they did these one shots. So this is Flash. He becomes like Death, the Death Racer. They did one for Batman and Superman and, and Green Lantern. This Deathstroke number one. This is the first print. I've been reading a lot of Deathstroke lately, um, with this Batman versus Batman versus Deathstroke. And when I saw this, I think they had it for a dollar fifty. Definitely had to get it. These New Fifty Two Number Ones, uh, they're sought after. Uh, they're pretty good. It's it's a pretty good read. Got some Batman here for you. This is Batman Four Forty. Nothing special other than it's Batman, and you know me. Anything Batman that I don't have, I'm picking it up for sure. This is Batman number 40 of the New 52. Uh, this is a key. This is the death. This is actually the death of Joker and Batman. Uh, in this issue, they they beat the ever-living crap out of each other. 
and they they end up dying. Um, but we all know deaths aren't deaths aren't anything permanent in comics. And that's actually my second copy of that that book. Uh, picked up Batman Detective Comics Endgame, number one. Don't know much about it. Just really like that, like that cover. It's a Batman Annual number two. So now I have number one. I've got number two. And here's Batman Annual number four of the new 52. Like that right there. And the last book that I want to show off is from the Rebirth. I didn't have this one. This is Batman number two. With, uh, I believe their names, Gotham, Gotham Boy and Gotham Girl. I think that's it. I've got number one. Um, pretty good series. I, I dig this new Batman that they're doing with the Rebirth. So, anyways, guys, that's what I've got. Uh, so, last week on Saturday, and I think it was Monday or Tuesday, so I went to Bussy's Flea Market, and I went by a Half Price Books here in town, and I picked up quite a few books at a good price. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, subscribe to my channel. I'm always dropping new content. Hit the like button and leave me a comment. What have you guys picked up other than what you picked up on New Comic Book Wednesday? I'm, I'm always... I'm always intrigued and I always like to see what you guys are picking up on the, uh, you know, on other days that aren't Wednesdays. So anyways, take it easy guys. Peace.